So this is the smart sensor. You can see two cables coming out here, out and in. First thing you do is you attach cable into here. This will connect to the computer via USB. Then you need to take your sensor. You'll need to do this with both. I'm going to choose the in sensor, the in pit, into that. This is the actual sensor here with a black sensor on it. With double sided sticky tape or anything else you want to use, really stick it onto the bottom of the track so that the black sensor is actually show, shows through the uh, slot in the track. That's basically how to set it up, very simple. You can also use your start lights with a smart sensor by wiring it in here. This is just a mock-up. Lights here, LEDs are for which ID is in the pits there. To start using the smart sensors, first of all you have to download the Arduino software from their website which is shown here. You then need to follow the instructions to download the drivers. Then go to the update Arduino board and this screen comes up and it should tell you that it's uh, the Arduino Uno, Uno is connected to COM port 3. Update your firmware. And you should see that the upload was successful. It's going to read the version that you've got loaded of the firmware and that is 009 at this present time. Click exit. Go down to the bottom here and you will see that the Arduino port is COM3. We want to use the Arduino. So now we have the Arduino set up and now we click the smart sensors button. We'll go into the practice qualifying screen to see if the smart sensors are working. Change lanes to come into the pits. And you can see that we've entered the pit lane. So now we could etc. Exit, exit now. And we're going to exit the pit lane. And there we are. So let's go back to the main page. You can set a pit brake assist time here so that when the car comes into the pit, it RCS will automatically uh, give it some brake. So you can use start lights. We'll go into the simple Arduino test and you can see a mock-up of the diagram that's slightly changed now but uh, all the information is in the manual. Let's check the lights. So let's see if that one works. So the first one works. It's not sensor sensitivity here. Two is the standard. You can use three if you have problems uh, with light uh, affecting the sensitivity of the smart sensor.